I've now had three videos out trying to make the spot welder work. I'm trying to spot weld the tabs of the lithium cells to the copper bus bars. This SSR blew up on the last video and caught fire. Uh, go check that out if you want to get a laugh. It's right at the end of the video. I did try the 240 volt in the last video, and a couple of you guys said that it's uh, saturating this iron core. Uh, we'll go back to the 120 volt. So these tungsten tips got all messed up on the last video. I bent them back, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot for now to see. So we'll get rid of this 240 volt cord. We'll get rid of this SSR, check that out. All burned up in there. I'm going to try using this instead. This is a contactor sold for air conditioning systems or furnaces. It's a 240 volt, 30 amp uh, contactor. Now this coil here is supposed to be hooked up to 24 volts alternating current. Uh, and that's because that's your typical residential thermostat system, at least where I live. And it's 8.5 ohms. So we're going to try connecting this to the 12 volt battery and see if it also pulls it down, two sides. And when you operate the plunger and pull that down. So now this side is connected to the positive of the battery. Let's see if this happens without too much of a problem. All right, so it doesn't look like it's uh, smoking. Cool. So I think that's going to be fine for our purposes. I actually called a friend on that, so thank you, Chris. I put wires on both sides of this relay, even though we're going to be working on 120 volts. I figured might as well because I got it. So one side of the contactor I'm going to run to the plug, and the other side of the contactors we will run to the transformer itself. So let's give this a shot. For testing, I'm gonna put a piece of plastic in between the tungsten tips, and let's plug in the 120 volts. All right, now we can give this a shot. Our two pieces of test copper are in there. The tungsten tips pressing against them. We are still currently set at uh, 0.15 of a second. Okay, so they just fell right apart. So now we can try that again. This time let's change this uh, setting to one second. Okay. All right, so now we are at one second even. So they actually are welded together. Do you, do you guys see that burn mark around it? All right, so we'll keep going with that. At least the contactors did not weld themselves shut. <laughs> All right, I got the copper back in there. and We're gonna try this again, but now we are at half of a second. No burn mark this time around. Okay, let's go back to this battery. So we're stuck on there, we're still at 0.35. Ugh. Okay, let's see if it held. I'm gonna slip this in between and lift. Look at that, it's lifting the whole thing. It was this spot right here. It looks like it actually held. There, I just broke it by, uh, by twisting it. Wow, okay, cool. 
Well, that's really good news. So it didn't actually take very long. Uh, but that was pretty weak. I, I, I'd like to go a little bit longer and see if that helps. So this is just a piece of roofing. First real spot weld that we did. Right there. Okay, let's take a closer look. That was the first one, and now this is the second one. That was number three. That was all of them across the line here. Now that we have this spot welded, let's take the clamps off and see if they separate or if they hold together. Check that out. That tab is staying connected to the bus bar. Same over here. Ha <laughs> ha, see? Nice. Oh, shoot. Oh, that one pulled off when I pulled on it too much. Darn. After a lot of trial and error, I finally found some times that worked well for these pulses. I found that a long pulse of 0.65 seconds on the copper uh, held it tight without uh, burning and getting too hot. On the aluminum tab, which was the positive tab, I did a double pulse 0.35 seconds per pulse. And it was interesting, if I left the aluminum side on for a long pulse, say the same as the copper side, it would get uh, soften the metal and it would wind up uh, wrapping around the tungsten tip and grab hold of the tungsten tip and the tungsten tip would kind of burn through or move that aluminum out of the way. So, uh, and it, likewise, a double pulse on the copper tab did not work well. Uh, the copper tab didn't get hot enough doing a double pulse. So I had to vary it up whether I was doing the aluminum tab or the copper tab. So very interesting stuff. I had fun uh, figuring that out. Wow, when I started the project to spot weld these tabs together, uh, I had no idea it was going to take me over a month to figure out the whole spot welder thing. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? Uh, that, that was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. I now have six batteries. They all have 14 cells in series for a really nice 48 volt nominal system. 
And as you can see, they're all sitting in the original tray that they came in. In some upcoming videos, we're going to be talking about how we're going to parallel all these together. We're going to talk about the BMS that I've chosen for these things. Uh, so stay tuned for those videos and thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, and if you'd like to help support the channel, uh, check out the Patreon link in the description below. Thank you.